Hey, how are you guys doing today? This is Drew from the 44th. Got another complaint on eBay. <clears throat> Not eBay, sorry, on Amazon. Saying that the, uh, the machine is a great machine, but the ink, the white ink, wouldn't flow. Now, the reason why you're having this issue is not because of our SIS system, right? It's not because of the SIS. It's because the ink that you've used in your printer has clogged your printhead, right? The printhead is clogged. Now, it's either because the ink that you used was bad, so it clogs up faster, or you've let your printer sit too long without doing maintenance on your printer, okay? Step one, every single day, every single day, you come down to your printer, go to your printer, and the first thing in the morning, you do a, you do one of these. Go to your printhead cleaning, click that, press start, run your printhead clean, right? Then when you come home or later on in the day, before night, before you go to bed, do another clean, right? When you're done printing, do another clean. This is a machine that every single day, to every single day to every two days, you have to make sure you do your printhead cleans, okay? It's not the cyst that's causing the issue. It's the ink plugging up your printhead. Now, when you want, if, you're, if your ink keeps getting plugged and you want to clean your printhead and pull that guck out, what you need to do is, let's get this away. You turn off the printer. Once you see this move out, missed it you turn it back on once you see this move unplug unplug the power cord once the power cord is out right here don't push here hold on sorry about that push from here not from here when you push from here, you can damage the printhead, you can damage the drive. Push from here. There you go. Next thing you need to do. What I do is I get two pieces of Kleenex. And this is kind of bad. I shouldn't be using this, but two pieces of Kleenex. All right, there, there, there's the clean side. Two pieces of Kleenex. I fold them. Put them together like that. One fold, two fold, all right? Now the next thing I use is 99.99% alcohol. The more percentage of the al that the alcohol is, is the more quicker it's going to break down the ink that's clogging your printhead okay this one says 50% but I already cl I cleaned out all of the what was 50% in there and I inserted 99% because I have a huge jug of 99% alcohol <clears throat> it's more easier to use the 99% as I said is, is it gets all the guck out faster it breaks it down faster all right, so what I do is I basically soak it. See, that's soaked. It's soaked, so it's soaking even through the other side. All right. Now, once it's soaked, push this down. Lay it flat like so. Flatten this top. Remember, move from here. Put it in, I do two rubs, and I let it sit. Now, 
If you just have a small clog, you can leave it for five, 10 minutes. If you have a bigger clog, 20 minutes to a half an hour. If you are, your, your, if your system has been sitting for a long, long day time, and it's really clogged, you have, sometimes you have to give it 24 hours. Okay. I've never been 24 hours, but I would just say, give it five hours, check on it, keep checking, keep checking. And you'll see that the, your, your white will show up on this paper. That's all well, you need to see. These ones, they never get clogged. And the reason why the white gets clogged is because there's a settlement in there. And once it sits down for too long, it settles and it clogs into the printhead and dries up. This is why these never dry up because they don't have that settlement. Okay. So, as I'm saying, it's not the cyst system. It's not the cyst system. When you're not getting any white ink flowing through here, when all the other inks are flowing, it is your print head is clogged, right? A print head is clogged. There's little holes on the bottom and the settlement gets in there and it dries up fast, okay? It dries up fast. This is why when you get white ink in the bottle, you have to shake it. You have to shake the bottle to make all the settlement go in there so you have a better grip on your white for your printing, okay? So remember, it's not the cyst. Anytime your white ink is not flowing through here, it's not the cyst. It is your print head that is clogged from the white ink, all right? Now, I've had it sit here for a while. Let's take a look. There you go. All colors are popped up. All colors are showing. Okay. All colors are showing. It's not the cis. The, the, the only reason why you're not getting any white ink flowing through here and it's getting clogged, two reasons. It's your, the ink that you're using is really bad. And some ink, the settlement dries faster. It doesn't cling or there's not enough settlement. All right. So, as I'm saying again, it's, oh, sorry, two reasons. It's either your ink or basically it's only one reason. Your, your, your print head is being clogged. Sorry about that. It's only one reason. Your pink print head is clogged. That's why your white is not coming through. So with our cyst, we recommend using our ink for our cyst. Our cyst, our ink is made for our cyst. The ink that we have is really good. It doesn't do any clogging, and when it does clog, it's easy to unclog because our ink is a very, 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 very high quality, okay? Any questions, you can message us through. At the, at the top of the page, you'll see our logo. Underneath that, you'll see all of our, our, you'll see our website. You'll see everything that you need to find, our email. You can contact us on eBay, you can contact us on e Amazon, you can contact us on <clears throat> YouTube. There's a message button where you can message us on YouTube and you can con contact us through our email. All right. So again, for the last time, it is not the CIS. The CIS is not the issue. The CIS is not the issue. The print head is being clogged print heads being clogged and that's what's screwing it up and you need to have the proper ink you don't have the proper ink you're going to have problems with these systems okay if you guys want to see another video about any other issues that you guys have going on message me i'll make it as long as i know how to, to uh take care of the issue all right there you go the proof is in the pudding all right now another thing if you're getting lines when you're printing, you see these little lines going through, 
that's also clogging from other different colors. Because I had it the other day when I had my computer, my, my uh, printer sitting down for maybe about maybe about a week, two days. No, no, no. I probably haven't. I was always doing my print head cleans, but I haven't printed in maybe two weeks. So I'd always come down and do my print head clean. And then the other day I said, I'm going to make a, a print. And then when I held the print up to the light, I seen these black lines going across. So my black was tiny. I had a tiny bit of a clog. Did this, did it one time, bang. Our, our, our ink is high, high quality ink. So it's not going to clog up your system. It's not going to clog up your whatever system you're using. It's not going to clog it up. The, 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 the company that we get our ink from, that we have did our contract with, they've been selling their ink for 20 years, 20 plus years. And it's the same ink. So this is not the ink, okay? So as I said again, any issues? It's your printhead and clean. It's your printhead. <clears throat> now another thing, once you when you buy our system and you follow our step-by-step -step tutorial, you will never need to take this back out. You will never need to take this back out. The only reason that you're going to take this back out is if your ink is low in here and then you want to just retop it up. But it shouldn't because once you put it in, it creates a seal, right? So the seal is there. So you're not going to get any flooding from our cyst. Our cyst is not going to flood your ink head, your, your, your print head. So you don't have to go in here all the time and do those cleans that everybody's saying to do this clean and do that if you want to you can go ahead because you know you want it more cleaner in there for your own liking or from i don't know but i from i've hooked this up i have never taken this out i've never taken this out not once yet so you don't need to do all that right maybe they're just trying to sell you their cleaners they're trying to sell you all this they're trying to sell you that but once you have our system our sis with the damper you don't have to worry about anything flooding back in here. So you don't have to worry about taking this out and cleaning it. The only thing you need to do is your maintenance, your print end cleans, and if you get your clogs, do your paper, and there you go. All right? All right. This is Andrew from uh, the 44th. Take care. Happy printing. And get that paper.